28 things you did not know about marsupials. 28. Naming names. Did you know that the word kangaroo has its kangaroots, so to speak, in the aboriginal word gungaroo, that actually refers to the grey kangaroo, and in all there are four species of roo, the eastern grey, the western grey, the antilopin, and the red kangaroo. There are an additional 50 or so smaller animals related to the kangaroo family, and that includes macropods like wallabies, wallaroos and the tree kangaroo. They all belong to the family of Macropodidae and tend to fall under the name kangaroo. 27. Two-Headed Monsters When Captain Cook and his crew first saw a baby joey sticking its head out of its mother's pouch, they thought the kangaroo was a two-headed creature. The first such documentation of the animal by Europeans occurred in 1770 by Sir Joseph Banks, an English botanist who sailed with Captain Cook. 26. Rats are cats. Quokkas are endemic to some islands off the coast of Western Australia, and they resemble a small kangaroo. When first sighted by Europeans in the 17th century, it was mistaken for a wild cat and a giant rat. In fact, one of the islands on which it is found is named Rotnest Island, which is derived from a Dutch word that means rat's nest. 25. Terms of endearment. Male kangaroos are usually called bucks, jacks, boomers, or old men. Females are flyers, does, and jills. And of course, the youngsters are known as joeys. 24. Birth control. If a pregnant female kangaroo is not quite ready to give birth, she can actually delay that process. Now reasons for that could include the female already looking after another joey. Using a type of suspended animation to make the embryo stop its development, the baby enters a form of stasis until the mother is ready to resume the process. 23. Diminutive Devils Dunnarts are related to Tasmanian devils, but it's only about the size of a mouse. However, it does have an ability possessed by no other mammal. That is, it can breathe through its skin. But only the infants can do this. Experts say it's a way that these small creatures can survive until the lungs are more fully developed. 22. Five limbs. While kangaroos have four limbs, of course, you might argue that they actually have five limbs, if you include the tail. The animals are known to use their muscular tail for balance while hopping, and they will balance themselves on the tail while delivering a frontal kick as well. 21. Kangaroo Kicks They're known, of course, for the powerful hind legs, and they are the only animals known to use hopping as a means of locomotion. And kangaroos can hop more than 40 miles per hour over shorter distances. Those hind legs can also deliver a kick powerful enough to do some damage to a human. Roos have sharp claws on the hind limbs that have been known to eviscerate smaller animals. 20. Rat Roos Now here you have the world's smallest kangaroo. About the size of a rabbit, rat kangaroos either resemble a large rodent or a small wallaby, or both, you decide. And they can hop like the larger relatives, but they are considered rare and are found in only two places, in a small rainforest of Queensland and in the eastern half of Tasmania. 19. Mob Rules So, what do you call a group of kangaroos? Well, they are called a mob. While the group can be mixed, it is usually led by the oldest and biggest dominant male, who will mate with the adult females. Groups can number up to several hundred animals, and can include male and female juveniles as well. 18. Upside Down Marsupial moles are not true moles, but they are distantly related to those animals. These creatures are blind and have no external ears. Growing about 5 inches long, they spend most of the time underground. As an adaptation to their environment, their pouches have evolved upside down. Now that way, sand and dirt will not clog it whilst they are digging. 17. No sweat. Did you know that kangaroos do not sweat? At least, not the way we do. They cool off by licking their inner forearms and chest until they're sopping wet. The moisture interacts with blood vessels located there that are close to the skin. And as the moisture evaporates, the blood circulating underneath starts to cool, and that in turn serves to cool down the animal's entire body. 
16. Noisemakers. Normally found in forested areas, paddy melons are among the smallest of macropods. The body structure is very similar to kangaroos and wallabies, even to the point that they hop to ambulate. They tend to be solitary animals, but when breeding season rolls around, the males will start clucking softly at their potential mates. The sound is similar to the noise that females make when they call to their young. 15. All wet. Kangaroos are able swimmers using the hind legs separately to navigate the water. But when traveling over the land, the roo always moves both limbs as if they are tied together. Experts still don't know why roos can move the legs independently in the water, but move them in unison during terrestrial travel. 14. Midget marsupials, also known as rabbit bandicoots, bilbies measure around 22 inches. They're known to be terrific burrowers, creating extensive series of tunnels with the claws and powerful forelimbs. The nocturnal critters are omnivores and actually have no need to drink water. They obtain moisture from the diet, which includes seeds, spiders, insect larvae, and fruit. And this is another species with a backward-facing pouch, which prevents dirt from entering into it as the animal digs. 13. Using the head. Many humans don't like the idea of going bald, but there is a marsupial that makes the follically challenged condition work in the favor. Sugar gliders are about 12 inches long and look a bit like squirrels, however they are not related. It's really a possum with a membrane that allows it to glide and swoop down on foods rich in sugary nectar, hence that sweet name. They also have something on the head that appears like a bald spot. It's not really. What it is is a scent gland that is used to mark the territory. 12. Forward March While roos have those powerful legs and feet, one thing they cannot do is move backwards. And that's one reason why the kangaroo was chosen to adorn the Australian coat of arms. The animal symbolizes that Oz is always progressively moving forward, never back. 11. Wombat. The well-known wombat has a backwards pouch, not unlike some of the other critters listed here. Similar to the marsupial mole, wombats do a lot of digging as they create burrowing systems with the powerful claws and front teeth. And the backward pouch ensures that no dirt covers its young as it is in the process of digging. 10. A vanishing breed. Can you guess which is the world's rarest marsupial? That would be Gilbert's Potteroo, the only natural population is found in Western Australia, and it comprises only about 70 individuals. That also makes them one of the most endangered mammals in the whole world. 9. Insatiable Appetite Numbats may not have the name recognition of a kangaroo, but these animals serve as an emblem of Western Australia. They go about 18 inches long, while weighing less than 25 ounces. Due to its coloration and to its appetite, it's often called the banded anteater. It dines exclusively on termites, up to 20,000 of the insects every day. And that striped coat makes them look a bit like the extinct relative thylacine. What do you say? Eight, unhappy endings. Antichinus are little marsupials that look like mice or shrews and are found in Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. Now they have a morbid mating process where the males essentially sacrifice their long-term survival in order to successfully breed with the females. And once that deed is done, the male is done as well. Seven, the marsupial lion king. Now it's tough to imagine a lion with a pouch, but such a critter did once exist in Oz, albeit up until about 46,000 years ago. Now the marsupial lion actually was not a lion or any type of felid. The creature gets that nickname because it was carnivorous, and it is recognized as the largest meat-eating mammal that ever existed in Oz. At the largest, marsupial lions could weigh more than 360 pounds and measure almost six feet long from head to tail. 6. Small Scale Ruse It's easy to mistake wallabies as miniature kangaroos, and that's not surprising since they both belong to the same family. They share some common behaviors too, including hopping, kicking at enemies, and using the tail for balance and support. Did you know the dwarf wallaby weighs only about 1.6 kilograms? It is the smallest member of the kangaroo family. 
5. Koala A close relative of the wombat. The cuddly koalas are found in coastal areas of the Australian mainland. They're up there with the kangaroo in terms of brand awareness, even serving as the mascot for Qantas Airlines in a series of TV commercials. Sleeping up to 20 hours a day, they're normally considered to be laid-back critters. But they do have the dark side. Koalas have been known to attack humans and dogs, although such an occurrence is rarely reported. Still, they do have those sharp claws and teeth that could inflict some serious damage. 4. Massive Marsupial Now speaking of koalas, what would you think about seeing one that tipped the scales at more than 6,000 pounds? Well, they don't get that large now, but back in the prehistoric day, the ancient ancestor Diprotodon sure did. The biggest specimens stood more than 6.5 feet tall at the shoulder and almost 10 feet from nose to tail. Now, that's about the size of a hippo. But they died out around 46,000 years ago. 3. Hop to it. Red kangaroos are the best known and largest species of the creatures and are actually the largest extant marsupial overall in the whole world. Males can measure more than 6 feet, including the tail, and weigh almost 200 pounds. Depending upon which source you want to believe, the red roos have also been documented to jump about 10 to 19 feet in the air and cover 30 feet in a single bound. 2. The Tasmanian tiger. Thylacine was the largest known carnivorous marsupial that existed in modern times. Indigenous to Tasmania, continental Australia, and New Guinea, the stripe pattern on its back inspired the nickname of Tasmanian tiger. The last known specimen died at the Hobart Zoo in 1936, and it was later declared extinct by international standards. Even so, many claim sightings of the creature have persisted to this day. One, devil of a critter. So the Tasmanian devil is one of those select few marsupials that needs no introduction. Once native to Oz, they're now found on Tasmania, as the name implies. It is the world's largest extant carnivorous marsupial and is a distant relation to the thylacine. About the size of a small dog, it has a bite that's powerful enough to chomp through thick metal wire. The name for devils because of the scary screaming and hissing noises they can make. While known for their willingness to fight, the devils will employ strategies to avoid avoid all-out combat. For instance, they can release a musky stink to drive away aggressors, or they can make a series of sharp sneezes in an effort to scare off enemies. Now one thing they don't do is spin around like a crazy vortex, cause only the cartoon species like Taz are known to do that. <laughs> 